Miner, an engineer here at RPS, and today I'm going to show you how to wire up an AC plug for your Pro Series controller. So these are the tools that we're going to need today. We have our AC port adapter plug. We have our NEMA plug as well, but we'll only need the male side today. We'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. We'll also need an Allen key, which comes provided with your plugs, some wire cutters, and you'll also need your pump wire. Uh, this guy is still jacketed though. So we went ahead to save time and splice one and it's ready to go. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our male end NEMA plug and we're going to undo the screws and open it up so we can wire in our pump wire. Our next step is to put our four wires into our ports here. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew all of these port plugs so that they'll be open and ready to go. So now we're going to take this bottom portion and push our wire through. Now do note that this portion here has a little notch and that's where it'll line up with the other portion of the plug. So you'll want those to kind of stay aligned. So once we have all of our ports open, we're going to go ahead and start inserting our wires. We want to be sure that we have our ground wire at the bottom here with G. We'll have our two hots on the sides with X and Y. And then we have our neutral wire up top with W. Now that we're all done wiring our plug, we can go ahead and slide the bottom portion up and have it meet the other end and close it up. So now we're going to go ahead and take apart our AC port adapter plug. And the only thing you'll need is the provided Allen key. First off, we'll take off this top portion and that unscrews right off. And then we'll unscrew this bottom portion. Using our Allen key, we're going to want to go ahead and back out these screws in the ports, but not too far, otherwise they'll fall out. We want it just enough to get to the top. Next, we're going to go ahead and take this gasket out of the bottom piece of the plug adapter so we can slide our wires through. Now we take our gasket, get the wires through there, followed by our center piece. It's very important that we put our wires in the proper ports and you'll see here that there is actually lettering L, G, and N. So our G is our ground green wire, our L is for our hot one, our black wire, and N is going to be for our hot two, the red wire. So the AC adapter plug does not use a neutral wire, so we're going to go ahead and wire out the neutral by cutting off a piece of it to make it shorter and then wrapping electrical tape around it. Now we're ready to uh, insert our wires into the correct ports. Remember, G is going to be our ground green wire, and then the other two are going to be your L and N, your two hots. Now that we have all of our wires securely in their ports, nice and tight, we can go ahead and finish putting the plug back together. Now we're ready to go ahead and plug in our power source. But first we're gonna to wanna to make sure that our AC port plug is in our controller. So we'll go ahead and take this cap off and you'll wanna line up these bottom notches here to the notches on your plug so they match. And then once we have it plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and screw it on tight. Now that the other side is plugged into the, our Pro Controller, we can go ahead and plug in our power source. You want to remember to have your large notch typically match up with the large notch on the bottom. Plug it in. If you wired everything correctly, you should now have a blinking run light on your controller. And you have successfully hooked up AC power to your Pro Controller. For more Pro Series videos or our other products, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page.